Hello all, welcome to our channel. Today's topic is risk adjusted discount rate approach. Coming to what is this risk adjusted discount rate approach? It is an estimation of the present value of cash for high risk investments. Any time we look for high risk investment, so it's all about estimating what would be the present value of cash. So to redefine which could be the better investment for the investment purpose in the organization. There are two different kinds. One is risk free return and one more is risky return. Always organization look for something called return. So which is very much required in a business. So whenever we look for a return, what is that we look for? Always we make sure that let risk shall be less. That would be the ideal one. The term says risk free return without risk. It is impossible in this real life situation. So by taking that into consideration. So let us also see what is risk free so that organization could be very safe and they can also earn very good amount of money. That is uh, the amount of sufficient profit here money in the sense by assuming that there is very less risk or whether there is no risk. What is risky return? The term risky return defines you that there is an amount of risk which has been involved in getting something in a form of a return. So these are some of the two types which we have to look after in this risk adjusted discount rate. Coming to the problem for more understanding or better understanding or how to solve a problem. The problem says very simple. A company limited is considering a company limited is considering the purchase of a new investment. Two alternative investments are available. That is A and B costing rupees 1 lakh. What is this 1 lakh? So 1 lakh amount is an initial investment given in the problem. So this is the initial investment which is given in the problem. The company has a target return of 10%. The target return what company is expecting is 10%. And they also have a risk premium rate which is 2% and 8% respectively for investment A and as well as for investment B. So here for investment A it is 2%. And for investment B, it is 8%. Which project should be preferred for investment? What are all the details they have given? So they have given years, which is for four years, cash flows for project A and cash flows for project B or investment A or investment B. How to solve? Very simple. Here we have to identify the net present value according to risk adjusted discount rate approach. So first we will identify for cash flow A that is for investment purpose A. How to find out to identify what is the discount factor. So we will go with looking after what is the target return and as well as risk premium. According to the question they said for cash flow A it is 2%. Already the target return was 10%. So 10% plus 2% became 12%. What is this 12%? So this 12% is the discounted factor which has to be taken for solving a problem. How it has to be solved and how NPV has to be identified. Totally there are four different years. Write down year 1, 2, 3 and 4. Cash flows as given in the question. 40, 35, 25 and 20. Now we have something called discount factor at 12%. Okay. How to find out this values that is which has been given here. Very simple. You have a formula 1 divided by 1 plus R to the power of N. So some says 1 divided by 1 plus 12% which can also be written as 1.12 this is what we say and to the power of n for the first year you will write as 1 for the second year you can write as 2 for the third year you can write as 3 for the fourth year you will write as 4 okay this is how we will solve some calculators you can calculate directly that is 1 divided by 1.12 you will get 0 0.8928 and click on is equal to so you will get the answer and if you are not getting sometimes, okay, what is that you are supposed to do? See, first one, you got very simple for the first year. How to calculate for the second year? You have 0 0.8928 
divided by 1.12 you will get 0 0.7971 so follow the same for third year and as well as fourth year coming to identification of present value of cash flows multiply 40,000 into 0 0.8928 that is cash flow into discount factor so we will get the values for all the four years that is 35712 27898 17,793, 12,710. Add all the four years values. We will get the total present value, which is 94,113. For that, kindly subtract the original investment, which has been given in the problem, or the initial investment, which has been informed in the problem. After subtracting, we will get the net present value here in this particular problem the net present value is negative the net present value is negative so which has a negative value so to compare which is better or which project is better so we have to also solve the case 2 or the cash flow b so that we can identify which would be the better case 2 which is identifying the net present value according to risk adjusted discount rate approach we had a target return which was 10% and the risk premium which is 8% so here what we will get if you add both the total risk adjusted discount rate approach is 18% which is also a discount factor for this particular case finding out is very easy as we have already solved the case one write for four years write a cash flows which has been given for cash flow b or project b how to go with the discount factor calculation simple 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of n which is 1 divided by 1 plus 18 percent which is 1 divided by 1.18 what is 1 divided by 1.18 you will get 8476 so now i have told you two methods either take your calculator after doing this you can click on is equal to symbols so that to get an answer or you can do it as 0 0.8476 divided by 1.18 will also get you the answer. So this goes on same for the next one here 0 0.7181 divided by 1.18 so we can get an answer. How to find out this present value multiply cash flows into discount factor that is 50,000 into we will get 42,380 40,000 into 0 0.7181 we will get an answer as 28,724 30,000 into 0 0.6086 we will get 18,258 30,000 into 0 0.5157 we get 15,471 now to identify what is the total present value add all the four values which we will get 1,4833 we should subtract initial investment or original investment which is 1 lakh as given according to the problem if you subtract we will get 4,833 which is a positive value now when you compare which is good compared to the project A and project B it is very simple for us to identify so this is a positive value this is a positive value and the organization approach would always be positive to consider for the better investment that is why in this particular problem project b is positive therefore this can be taken for investment purpose okay so i feel you have understood the problem thank you so we will look for more number of videos in the coming classes thank you